The film starts with the deep blue waters of the sea, where we see two fish. They are both shark, but the smaller one, the brownish skin colored shark, is called the bamboo shark. And the bigger one, the blue shark, they both are very good friends and are playing in the sea right now. These two wanted to play together more, but the brown shark had to protect some eggs. Those eggs were his mom's egg, which means its siblings were going to hatch from these eggs. So keeping these eggs safe was quite important. After he Hearing this, the blue shark leaves, but before the brown shark could spend some more time there, some humans come there to steal those eggs. The brown shark tries a lot, but can't save those eggs. It immediately goes to the blue shark, but by then it was too late. The humans had already gone after taking those eggs. The blue shark takes the brown shark with her and says, Don't worry, we will definitely find its solution. But the brown shark says to her, No! My heart is not fine right now. Those eggs, my siblings, are gone because of my carelessness. And as soon as the brown shark comes out, she sees an octopus. This was also a good friend of hers. Now, they both start walking together. And the octopus shows his inventory to the brown shark, which means some machines that are made by him. Now they both start riding in it. There we see the blue shark, who is resting in one place. He has locked more small fish there, cause he used to eat them. And all these fishes were very annoying to him because of this. Now when the blue shark is sleeping, they make a plan, and brings a recipe book. It has chicken roast in it. They say we will teach this blue shark chicken roast, and we'll tell him to to leave us and go and try the chicken. When the blue shark sees chicken in that book, he starts drooling. What is this thing that I haven't tried yet? This looks very tasty. That's when a tortoise comes there, who tells the blue shark, okay, you should go out. You should explore the outside world, and you will find this chicken on the shore. So why don't you go there? The blue shark gets very excited after hearing this, that today I will get a chicken to eat. Now, it turns out that all the sea animals who were annoyed with the blue shark, they had made a deal with crabs living in a very secret place. Those crabs wanted to eat the animals and fish coming into the sea depths after attacking them. But the blue shark didn't let that happen. Either he had eaten the fish itself, or he protected the innocent fish so that they wouldn't get lost. Now, the shark reaches the shore. The blue shark had a tortoise, and also the one that was with the crab. This blue colored sea creature. Now, as soon as the blue shark is about to attack chicken, the other sea animals there save the chicken. And now the blue shark has to return to the sea. As soon as he returns to the sea, a hook gets stuck in its mouth, which the humans had thrown into the sea. And because of that hook, he gets stuck in a port. The humans had pulled him up, but he was lucky that he had to survive. The waves of the sea start getting faster. The port starts to shake. And this huge blue shark comes back to the sea. There we see that the brown shark is very sad. Then the same weird creature comes to it. That is the same blue sea creature, which is with crab. And it comes to him and says, you are missing your sibling egg, which the humans had stolen. Come, I will help you. Now the brown shark goes to the octopus for help. And the octopus tells her that you are too young and you won't be able to do this. But then the blue creature tells the brown shark to look as the tortoise can survive outside without water. So you will also be able to survive. So go, by going outside the water. But the tortoise listens to him, and it asks him what is going on in your mind. What are you planning against these two? Tell me right now. But it doesn't tell her. Then the blue shark comes there, and starts asking her, that tell me, what are you planning? So here the blue creature says everything. That yes, I encourage the brown shark to go and find those eggs by the sea. Now, when he comes out of the water, then he really notices that he can survive without water because he is a bamboo shark. Now here he had come to the human's boat who had stolen his sibling. That is its parent's egg. When he goes there and sees, he sees a tub filled with water and those eggs are inside it. When he is looking at them, then he thinks that someone is coming from outside. So he hides in the same tub. There the blue shark is very worried for his friend. So he goes to the 
octopus and ask for help. That whatever invention you have made, please give it to me. I have to go and find my friend. Now here the octopus was already working on an invention, which he used to call a rocket shoe, that it could take a human or an animal to the shore of the sea. The blue shark bothers him a lot, and the octopus has to listen to him. The blue shark and three fish sit in that rocket, and the rocket is launched, which lands in the chicken form straight out of the water. All the chickens are scared to see it, that what is this thing? But then a chicken's eye is seen inside it, and sees the blue shark and it remembers that it is the same which had come to attack a chicken so now it has come to do the same and all the chickens move forward to fight him now the shark and the rocket move forward which was a robotic rocket then they find a crab which gets ready to help them and with great difficulty they get rid of the chicken. Now, when these hidden people come out of the mud with that rocket, thinking that the chickens have left, so they start getting very happy. Now, the crab says to them, that if I have helped you so much, now you will have to help me too. Come on, break coconut for all of us. Now, the blue shark agrees to this, and he starts breaking the coconut. Now, because of this noise, all the chickens know where these people are. And to take revenge for their attack, these people lay a trap on them and think that this blue shark and these fish should be handed over to those hunters now these people roll them and take them to those hunters in the meantime we see there that the same bamboo shark that is brown shark has freed its sibling and two babies have come out of the egg and he shifts them to another tub and takes them out of there but then two hunters see him and try to stop him but that bamboo shark locks them up in the same place and comes out now the the door is closed but then the hunter's boss comes there who opens the door in anger and sees that all the eggs and fish are missing so he starts shouting at them but in the meantime those chickens had also arrived with the same trap including the rocket with that blue shark and fish seeing this the boss becomes very happy after this chickens leave but then one of the hens from them whom the blue shark had attacked earlier says that whatever it was we shouldn't have handed over the blue shark to the hunters like this when he tried to hunt us we felt so bad so think now they must be feeling the same and then that bamboo shark takes those small eggs and babies and reaches the shore and shifts them to the sea there the turtles and their other friends are waiting for it and they tell him that your friend that is the blue shark had gone to look for you at the shore and don't know where he is hearing this the bamboo shark gets worried and goes inside and the same crab guides him the one who had guided the blue shark on the way he finds the hen and the chickens. They both tell each other their story. Now the bamboo shark tells them that my friend that is the blue shark had come to find me and not to hunt you guys. And now the chickens feel repented for what he did. They say, bamboo shark, now we will help you in finding and freeing your friend. Now they all go inside together. The hunters are sleeping. So the crab goes and frees the tied rocket. How? With the ropes that were tied to the rocket, they cut Cut the rope. There the chickens are taking care of the hunters. And in the same time, the rocket that is the blue shark and the fish are freed. The bamboo shark comes out with companion shark. When the hunter's boss tries to stop them on the way, the crab also comes there and bites him. And now he stops moving forward. And they get a chance to escape. Now, we see the scene of the, the same scary blackfish, which has a lot of black crabs. And they want to attack the entire sea creature and eat them and to create their role there they have spread all over the sea and are taking advantage of the absence of the bamboo shark and the blue shark all this is seen by the blue creature which was previously joined with crabs and the blackfish now seeing this starts to realize that I've been supporting the wrong people whose intentions are wrong so he meets the tortoise and the blue shark and the bamboo shark the octopus was also with them then the octopus notices is something that the black dangerous fish and the crab are getting power from the dirty water which is getting mixed with the factory sewerage he goes and stops the water which means he blasts the sewerage pipe so that their form changes and their dirty water doesn't fall into the sea if the water is clean then the creatures living in it will also be clean and 
all the other bad creatures, and the dirty creatures will die. Then we see the blue shark, which is still trying to escape from the predators. The blue shark is fighting them with a lot of bravery. Along with that, the red crabs are also supporting them. But it seems that for a long time, their luck was not good. The predator's boss comes and holds the blue shark and the rocket again. But then suddenly a lot of crabs and chickens come in front of it, which were supposed to attack him. They had teamed up now against this leader. Now here the leader, that is the boss says, if nothing else then this bamboo fish. Now that bamboo shark, that is brown shark, starts his car with him and starts moving. And then that blue shark frees himself, save his friend, and gives the boss a shot. That boss falls on the other side of the sea. Soon the police come there and arrest that boss because he was working illegally there. And he had also done a lot of destruction here. There the bamboo and blue shark happily go back to their sea. Now as soon as the black that crabs and that dangerous fish find out that these two sharks have come back. They go back to their places after being scared and soon due to the water being clean and all these fish finding out their reality. Now, no one will be with them and soon they will also be finished. With this, this good movie ends here. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.